right there. I wanted to get into communications. I wanted to get into to dealing with African American people. I wanted to get into to, to my people participating in the free enterprise system. The best thing to ever happen to the Coastal Gardens was when Jim Andrews retired. I think the work that's been done here uh, at the Botanical Gardens is something that we felt that we could give back to the community. I think this is a sustainable place and it will be here for a long time and will be known eventually as one of the top gardens in the country. I got a job driving a uh, truck for UPS, 1954, uh, $1.75 an hour. He took me to the big parking lot with the UPS trucks and then he said, make money <laughs> to these trucks. And I thought, I like that guy. The leadership qualities that he, you know, that he, he presents and demonstrates through his actions and one per, a person that can be counted on and a person of integrity, honesty, and, and one that's trustworthy. And when he says he's going to do something, he'll do it. So this is Ford Junior Achievement. He's an achiever, a senior achiever. It was the Army that brought Don Cole south. I thought when I got to Camp Gordon, I had reached the, the ends of the earth. To a place that didn't really fit the sensibilities of the boy from Bridgeport. But from Augusta, he discovered tidy. He would sit on the beach and build pyramids out of the empty beer cans. And the wild card in his southern exposure. And one day, this cute little lady came walking by. The cute little lady had a formidable mama and Don's Boston bred career path took an unexpected turn. I asked Kay's mother and she said we'd be glad to have you as a son-in-law but you're going to stay and live in Savannah. Joe Buck was born and raised in tiny Thomaston, Alabama. My phone number was eight. My grandfather was known as Mr. Big Joe Buck, my dad was known as Mr. Little Joe Buck, and I was known as Mr. Little Joe Buck's boy. <laughs> <laughs> the family farmed, but his mom was a teacher standing at an American crossroad. The day the school, the white school integrated, all the white kids walked out and all the teachers walked out, but two. And my mom was one of those that said, African American kids need to know how to diagram a sentence too. That's kind of a meaningful picture of this. That's the product right there. <laughs> that was when Duren Middle School came knocking. He taught photography at Duren for another 29 years. Actually, he wasn't teaching photography at all. I would always go into the principal's office. I said, I have to tell you about this man who has devoted his life to our students. David had spent his adult life working at Palmer and Kay Insurance. But when Palmer and Kay was acquired by Wachovia, it was a game changer. I had to make this decision, if I'm not gonna work here five years, and I'm 40, if I'm gonna do something, I better do it now. News of the exodus rippled through the community and the excitement of Seacrest filled the air. Then, reality set in. I had no idea that what I was about to embark on was going to be the most difficult thing I'd ever seen. You know, I, you know, I didn't sleep for six months, I didn't eat for six months, it was so stressful just trying to start a business from scratch. I mean, you know, how about this, you don't have any customers, try that one on for size. 